This week, you're going to learn how to draw a tree diagram. A tree is a data structure that is sort of like what you would see in maybe an org chart um, or a family tree. It's an upside, it looks like an upside down bush, really, more than a tree. But um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use one to design your text adventure game. So first thing you want to do is in a search engine or like Medicare or uh, maybe um, in the address bar, type draw.io. And that will bring up the draw, that'll redirect from the draw.io domain name to diagrams.net. You can click decide later or you can click GitLab. You're going to need an account on GitLab anyway. Um, I'm going to send you an invitation to your student.sdccd.edu email address. So if you have your access to your student email address, I'd suggest you use that to sign up on GitLab. You can have many e uh, email addresses. But, to, but before we do that, I'm just going to have you um, draw a diagram. So this is draw.io. What I'd like you to do is choose a text box or a heading and text um, block. You could write your um, entire, we're going to change this to welcome, and you could uh, write some of the dialogue that you're going to print out to the screen here uh, if you'd like to plan it out. But all you really need is just a um, uh, a text label so that you can then create a tree structure that flows from there to another uh, text box. So I'm going to create an arrow. I'm going to connect it. I'm going to connect it to let's go to the middle of the text box. And then you can um, you can change the thickness and shape of that arrow to make it a little bit better. Here's looks like a better one. Let's choose that one. You can also adjust the pro over here on the right. You see Oh, no, it doesn't look like you're seeing my screen anymore. Uh, uh, maybe you are. Uh, hopefully you are. Uh, yeah, it looks like you are. Um, so you can um, use a thicker arrow if you'd like. You can also change the properties over here on the right. Um, so you can make the line um, ending a bit bigger or smaller. That's adjusting these two little red things here. Um, there's all sorts of adjustments you can make. Draw.io is one of the most flexible and open source and free drawing applications you can use. And it's, it is portable across all operating systems and all kinds of computers. So I highly recommend it for doing all your diagramming. If you want to use pencil and paper, that's fine. Uh, if you want to use some proprietary application like PowerPoint or whatever, that's fine too, but I'd really rather you use open source things if you're that way you don't never lose your diagrams. So if you don't ever upgrade a particular application or if you're on a different uh, draw IO will be portable to anyone anywhere in the world at any time for free. So you'll always have it for the rest of your life. So that's why I like it. Anyway, sorry for the preaching. Uh, anyway, you got your welcome message you're going to have in your um, in your game, and then you're going to probably have at least one decision they have to make. I'm going to copy and paste that arrow with Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to move create another one. And maybe we have three or four possible things you can do here. And I'm going to add some text to each one of those um, arrows. Ooh, okay, that's not quite where I wanted the text. I wanted the text to be, let's get rid of that. Let's put the text over here. There we go. I got it free of the error. I want it next to it. And let's say you've got two options to go maybe north and maybe let's click another one and let's create a south. These would be commands or uh, text that the user would input into your game. You want them associated with the arrows. You can put them inside the arrows. You can put them next to the arrows. You can have as many of these arrows as you'd like. But the idea is just to have some splitting of the decisions that your gameplay has to make. And then from there, you'll get to um, maybe the southern beach. Or maybe actually you're in San Diego. So maybe you go south and you end up in Mexico. 
Uh, and if you go north, you end up in L.A. So your gameplay is some uh, Grand Theft Auto in, um, in San Diego. Um, uh, or whatever you'd like it to be. Your game, you get to dream up whatever dreams you have uh, and whatever entertaining thing you can come up with to create some dialogue. So you'll have an input input statement that will do the welcome statement. Um, the variable, you'll have a variable to store the answer and you'll use an if statement to decide between north and south or whatever commands you want or text you want to detect. And then you can um, go to your destination state where it will print out and ask another input uh, for the command that they want to type for when they're in Mexico or in LA or whatever you have. And to make it a full tree, you're gonna to wanna to have more than one layer of branches. And, um, and you're gonna to wanna to have, oops, let's not do it that way. Let's not copy and paste an existing one. Let's just grab a new one and drag it around to where we want it. Sometimes it's hard to get to grab it in the right place. I've got it kind of zoomed out a little bit. Um, probably be a lot easier. You can grab a couple of them together by dragging a box around them. Really love this program. Um, so your your goal is to have have a game that has at least two layers and at least a total of six um, decisions that can be made in your game before they win the game. Um, your, I would also like you to use the random package somewhere in your decisions about where they go. You don't have to make these decisions determined by what the user says. They can be made decided based on a random number or whatever you would like to do. Um, it can be arbitrary or it can be fixed. It, no matter what they type, it could go somewhere. That can be a, a, a way to create some sort of magic or a brick wall or whatever you'd like. Um, uh, of course, you need to have be able to handle the else of an if statement. So um, elif or else is a great way to handle um, all the other stuff that somebody might say instead of the commands that you've given them. So north, south, yes, no, they might say maybe or nope, and you'll need to uh, figure out what to do with the game when they say that. Um, and if you'd like it, if they don't answer your question correctly, you would like it to go back to the room that they were in. Um, you can also have universal commands that work no matter where they are. Um, it's like magic spells or whatever you would like um, to have in the list of things that people can do, whether it's rest or sleep or um, uh, exercise or whatever. Um, so dream up a really interesting text adventure game, uh, like the very first Python program that I ever wrote and the very first program I actually ever wrote in basic. Um, it's a lot of fun to, uh, to build, uh, to make machines make decisions and then entertain you. And this is also the same thing you do in a conversation tree. If you're designing a chat bot, uh, it may look like all the world is using large language models that are just magically generating text. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of decisions being made in order to keep things on track. And, um, and so this, this tool that you're gonna build or this game you're gonna build is also useful as a virtual assistant or a chat bot. Um, so we're, I hope this will be a, a fun um, project for you. And I hope you can come up with a good way to draw me a diagram. Oh yeah, before we go, you need to figure out how to save this. Uh, you notice since I bypassed GitLab, it's not going to automatically save it in GitLab for me. So I'm going to hit click save or save as. I'm going to click save. And you notice it has this dot draw IO extension. Um, you need to make sure you're, hi you're not hiding your extensions if you're on a Windows machine. Uh, even Macs sometimes hide the extension. Make sure you know what the extension is of files before you open them or edit them. Really important when you're looking for your Python files or um, or text files or markdown files or draw.io files. 
So you're going to save it, um, and you're going to save it as an editable PNG. You probably never heard of that. It's like a JPEG. Uh, PNG is, but doesn't lose any pixels. And the cool thing about Draw.io is it can save an editable one. So if somebody has Draw.io installed on their machine, and it's open source, so you can install it on any machine, um, they can open your drawing uh, like I'm going to do. Um, or if they don't have it, they can only look at it as a PNG like you would see on the web or a JPEG. Uh, so let's call this game diagram. And so your goal is to... Um, Save that to, uh, I'm not gonna save it to uh, anything. I'm just gonna download it to my local machine. So you don't have to create any accounts with any commercial companies. And this all can be completely free and completely yours and completely private. Uh, I'm gonna put it in my, um, in the, my Mesa Python package that I'm building for helping people learn Python. This is gonna be a public diagram that I'll share in a module. Uh, put it in the assignments folder. I'll put it under week five and the week five's module. Uh, oops, looks like I need to. Oh, interesting. Didn't do it. Uh, game. I'm just gonna call it game so it doesn't. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, it's interesting that it's not updating the unsaved changes once. So I saved it in two different formats. I saved it in .draw.io.png and also in um, .xml. That way I'm, I'm sure I have it. I'm pretty sure I have it. I um, uh, hope my browser isn't blocking it. But anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it got them both. Um, Firefox keeps a nice little, I'm using LibreWolf, but it's basically a fork of, of Firefox and it keeps my downloads and it lets me know where they ended up. I can click on those folders to go to them to make sure they're there. Um, all's good. So have fun drawing your sketching your plan for your game. And this is a, a requirement for the assignment is to give me a diagram, however you can, of a tree that has at least six uh, decisions and at least uh, two layers in your tree. Have fun.